Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to solve equations using models um, and primarily we're going to use algebra tiles to solve these equations. So we have an equation here right now it's 3j minus 5 equals 19 and what we want to do is we want to use models to represent that. So we take a look at j first, 3j, all right? And we want to draw algebra tiles to represent that. So these algebra tiles are going to look like this. One of these represents a variable. So that's 1j. This is 2j. And this is 3j. All right? And then we have minus 5, so we have uh, negative algebra tiles, and I'm just going to draw them in red. So we have, there's 5, so that's 3j minus 5. All right? Then we're going to draw on the other side of the equation, we're going to draw 19. And we're going to use, uh, let's use blue, and let's go with green tiles to represent, no, I'll stick with black, sorry. Black tiles will represent 19. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so there's 19 algebra tiles. And notice what I've done is I've tried to make them relatively even here. So we have one line, you know, this line is going to kind of match over with this. This line is going to match over with this. This line is going to match over with this. And you'll see why that is in just a sec. I'll just erase this stuff. I made a mess here. All right. So, first step in solving this equation is we have to get these these variables here, all right? We have to get them by themselves. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of this minus 5. And the way to do that is to zero pair them out, all right? So if I have five negatives here, I'm going to match them up with five positives, okay? and it's a zero pair and that makes nothing, right? But because I've done that here, then I have to add five positives over to this side. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, all right? And then when we take a look at this, okay, I can say, well, if 3j now equals, if 3j equals, looks like, we had 19 and I added 5 to it equals 24 now, right? So now there's 24. What does one of these j equal? And what I do is I simply, simply go like this. Well, here's 1 j, and if we go over here, what does that equal? So one of these j's equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can simply write j equals 8. And that's how you use algebra tiles to solve equations.